Uh, so the SN2 is the technical name for our substitution. The S stands for substitution. The N stands for nucleophile, which you'll see our nucleophile in a minute. You'll meet it. And the 2 stands for the order of reaction. This is a second order reaction. So there's like an SN1 reaction, for example, that's a first order reaction. Okay, so how this works. This is the very technical way of writing it. You have an organic with this thing that's labeled L. It's a leaving group. The leaving group is what will be substituted. Okay? You're going to add what's called a nucleophile. That's something that has a lone pair of electrons and wants a positive charge. Um, so it, it's nucleophile. It wants to donate the, that lone pair. Uh, and so that nucleophile will substitute for the leaving group. Oh, I'll write so you can see it. Nucleophile. Substitute for the leaving group. And the leaving group will leave. And there's a lot of details that will go into this reaction that we won't look at. Uh, but just to know, you're looking for a nucleophile, something with a lone pair of electrons. Okay? <laughs> this is different than the free radical halogenation because hydrogen is not a satisfactory leaving group. Okay? So possible leaving groups, I'll put this under the leaving group, would be like bromine or chlorine are great leaving groups. Um, yeah, those are, those are good. Uh, good nucleophiles, anything with a lone pair of electrons. So OH minus has lone pairs of electrons. Uh, any, pretty much any halogen, so bromine, chlorine, or iodine. So notice that, oh, and iodine can be is a good leaving group too. Notice that uh, there's some overlap with what can be a leaving group and a nucleophile. Other good nucleophiles, just other things that have negative charges or that have a lone pair of electrons like ammonia. Ammonia is okay of a leaving group. So there's just some examples. So the leaving group, as far as we're concerned, for the most part, is going to be a halogen. The nucleophile, whatever has a lone pair on it, will, will work satisfactorily. So, for example, uh, let's say we have, there, a one uh, iodo propane. We add our nucleophile and it will just substitute. So I've now, from an alkyl halide, made an alcohol. So I've made a new, uh, new sort of uh, functional group. So you can see another one. Um, Another one, let's add CN minus. Now I'm putting a cyanide. So what you're looking for in our situation is an alkyl halide with a nucleophile. That is an item that has a lone pair. Now all you're going to do is swap these two. So in this, our case, the cyanide goes on, the bromine goes off. It's a pure substitution. Other details to the reaction we're not going to get into, uh, but that will be satisfactory for us. Any questions? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to 